I love consuming media. I watch movies, TV, and listen to music, but I just don't like having to work to enjoy all of my media. The problem for me is that accessing all of my media is not as convenient as I would like it to be. In my family, we have DVDs, Blu-rays, and music laying all over the house. It's just a big mess. MB Media Server is a piece of software that aims to solve that problem. And I must say, it does a very good job. For anybody that doesn't know, a media server's job is to organize a person's media so that it can be accessed in a quick fashion. MB does exactly that, but in some very innovative ways. Hey, I'm Henry, and this is my full overview of MB Media Server. So first off, I want to get started with the basics. MB can be installed on just about any device you could possibly want to use. Those include PCs, Macs, Linux machines, and pretty much any server or network attached storage device. I will leave a full list of supported devices in the description. The setup process varies depending on what device you're installing the server on. But after you have the software installed, you just have to add all of your media. MB will do the rest. But what does it do? One of the most recognizable features that makes MB stand out is the ability to automatically pull movie posters and banners from a variety of different sources. It gives users an experience that is very similar to that of the Netflix interface. If you don't like the art that MB has chose, don't worry. MB empowers the users to select from a full list of art that MB has found. You can even add your own if you don't like the ones provided. So once your media is all organized, you can access it from literally anywhere. To do that, you are going to need the MB app. It is available on pretty much any device you could think of. Android, iOS, Android TV, Apple TV, Roku, Xbox, and blah, 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 blah. It goes on forever. I have loved not worrying about having my DVDs accessible during trips. As long as I have an internet connection, I'm all set. MB does have a download feature but I'll get into that later. Anyways, the quality of your streams really depends on the quality of your home internet connection. MB does have some paid features, so let's talk about that. The most important payment is going to be the apps to consume your media. About every mobile app, except for the Android app, requires you to provide a one-time payment or subscribe to Premiere to access your media. If you don't pay, you can still see the media you have on your server, but you just won't have the ability to watch them. The other payment is actually an optional subscription service called MB Premiere. Keep in mind that at the time of recording, there is no free trial. The MB team does, however, give you many purchasing options. You can either pay $4.99 a month, $54 a year, or for you determined users, you can pay $119 for a lifetime subscription. It's also important to note that you don't have to pay for any of the apps if you are already paying for the subscription. All right, so is it worth it? And it depends. Let's go over what you're getting for your money. I'd say the biggest feature is the ability to download your media for offline playback. And for a lot of people, including me, having access to media without a connection is a must have. Other features include a DVR for recording live shows, apps for TV playback, Alexa and Google Assistant support, and podcasts. I'll leave another link in the description for a full list of paid features. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I am hoping to have many more videos about MB coming in the future. Also, if you are looking to try out MB for yourself, I will leave links in the description. If you liked the video, maybe consider subscribing. And finally, thanks for watching.